Bright, shiny objects are those wonderful little magical opportunities that drop in your lap and you go, like a kid in a candy store, you go, yes, I can do that because I have entrepreneurial energy and I can accomplish everything, right? And a bright, shiny object is something you say yes to without really understanding how it will pay off. And sooner or later, you have a list 10 miles long of fun little bright, shiny objects that you need to get done. Superhero syndrome. The superhero syndrome happens once you have said yes to all of these bright, shiny objects. You can think you can get them all done in record time, all by yourself. Okay, the superhero thinks they have superhuman powers. And just because you've said yes, you think, okay, now I have to get it done. And as a matter of fact, I want you to imagine for a moment that as a superhero syndrome kind of person, that you actually just draw a really big line all the way around you, okay? Everybody, can you imagine drawing a line around you like a big circle? When you are a superhero syndrome kind of person, that is how big your business can get because you're doing it all alone and you're having unrealistic expectations of yourself and the people around you. And you can only accomplish so much by yourself. The J-O-B mindset is when you are stuck in the what Michael Gerber calls the technician mode. When you are committed to being the doer, you can only accomplish so much. And by the way, being the doer means you are forever entrenched in only being able to accomplish with that which you can do alone. I have a client who is in the Redondo Beach area and he runs a service business. And my client has had a dream. He's in the six figures, low six figures, and he had wanted to get to the seven figures. Anybody have that point where it's like, you know you're here and you want to get to the next level, whether it's six figures or seven figures, and you're like, I'm stuck. I can't get past a certain point. Well, he couldn't get past a certain point, and what he realized was he was so much more comfortable doing the work than he was stepping back and being the leader of the work. And when you're the leader of the work, you are actually able to accomplish 10, 15, 20, 100 times more because you're like the puppet master or the, maybe you might consider it being the orchestra leader who makes sure that every part of the business is working together in synergy. But if you are the cog of the wheel, then everything gets stuck because you're in the middle of it. So here is the payoff. I told you all that one of the things I wanted was freedom, right? I wanted more freedom. Well, getting rid of what was in the way, learning how to leverage my time, positioned me to be able to catapult forward and get from a very struggle position, getting out of the overwhelm and into a place where not only have I been able to achieve a lot more of the successes I wanted, but create a lifestyle. I wanted time to travel. I had had a dream my entire life to go to Europe and spend three to five weeks just taking Europe in. Finally, last year in the summer, I got my dream and I spent three weeks in the south of France and Italy and Spain just enjoying the most magical trip. I didn't check my email once. I never picked up the phone and called in. My team handled it the whole time. And guess what? I made money when I was on that trip. Isn't that it's kind of fun to think, oh, I can go play and I'm still making money. But most importantly, I wanted a business the way I wanted. I didn't want to be working 80, 90, 100 hour work weeks. I didn't want to be working just as hard as I was working for Motorola for just as much money. I didn't want to be taking clients on because I had to. Anybody ever feel like they have to take a client on because they have to rather than because they love them? So some of the ways that I structured my business was, I like to go to the spa. Well, now I've created my business so that I take my clients to the spas with me. Why not? They like it too. So we go on spa retreats together and do our masterminding experiences. We go out together in, in Vegas when we were there at our last retreat. I rented a limo and took them all out to a show. It was amazing. That makes me want to do more fun stuff stuff with my clients. It was, it's what I want in my business. And so that's what happens when you create space by stopping 
the things that do not serve you and start to focus on the things that do serve you. Hi, it's Melanie Benson Strick, million dollar lifestyle business coach and virtual team building expert. What you just saw is an excerpt from our virtual team building programs that are designed to help busy entrepreneurs like yourself discover simple strategies to accomplish more by leveraging the power of a virtual team. I'd love to share with you right now our free virtual team building tips because I know that it's the easiest place to get started as you're discovering the simple strategies to be focused on your highest payoff opportunities. So go right now to www.freevirtualteamtips.com and get your copy of this free report and our powerful hidden gold exercise. I predict by taking three minutes now to download this report, read it, and put at least one of these ideas into action, it will be one of the most profitable activities you do this entire year and will really set you up to catapult into that desired six and seven figure lifestyle business I know you want. Go now to www.freevirtualteamtips.com. You don't want to waste a second and I want you to have this in your hands now.